Welcome. Today we will try to answer the question, what is the shape of the earth? You might be thinking to yourself, I know this, the earth is wrong. A quick look back in history. There is a story about Christopher Columbus when he set sail in 1492. He had fears that he and his crew would fall off the edge of the flat earth. Christopher Columbus was later credited for determining that the earth was not flat. But before his discovery, we were aware that the earth was not flat for thousands of years. Pythagoras, the Greek philosopher and mathematician, said that the earth has to be wrong based on simple logic, and this was said 2,500 years ago. But we want to know the true shape of the earth. In this video, we will look at four proofs that will convince us of the true shape of our planet. This photo was taken in 1972 by a crew of Apollo 17 mission on their way to the moon. In 1990, the Galileo spacecraft took a video of the rotating Earth and this is clearing up all doubts and confirmed that the Earth is a sphere. The Earth rotates from west to east, which means that places in the east see the sun before places in the west. If the Earth was flat, all places would not only see the sun at the same time, we would also have continuous day and night. Circumnavigation of the globe. It is possible to travel around the Earth in a straight line and return to your original starting point because of the curvature nature of the earth. Let's take for example, if I am traveling from Guyana and I am traveling east and if I continue in this direction, eventually I would end up right back in Guyana. The moon's eclipse. An early astronomer, Aristotle, observe the moons during lunar eclipse. This is when the earth goes between the sun and the moon. And guess what he noticed? He noticed that the earth cast a rounded shadow and he concluded that only a sphere can cause a rounded shadow. To wrap things up, let's quickly revisit some of the proof that we discussed today. We have aerial photographs, we have night and day, we have circumnavigation of the globe, and the moon's eclipse. Let's bear in mind that these are only few of the proof that support that our planet is a sphere. There are endless other evidence out there. Thank you for watching. Bye.